Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jill and this is At Home on Park. Today I'm going to share with you how I decorate my dining room server for fall using items I've accumulated over the years, but incorporating two extremely simple projects for this year's display. So if that sounds good to you, follow me. Here is my inspiration piece. I was over at Joanne Fabrics looking for some fall picks to add to my centerpiece and I saw this beautiful pick but they only had one and I really love this look so I purchased the one and I thought I have these little pumpkins at home already that I purchased from the dollar store I've incorporated these in previous projects and I thought I'll just take some branches out of the yard and I can glue these onto the branches now here, these are the branches that I pulled from my yard. I know not everybody has this readily available, but you can go to uh, your local parks and walking trails and in your neighborhood to see what you can find. These are the pumpkins we'll be using. I have this navy blue one, a few of these copper, and this grayish blue color. I have some pink ones as well, but we won't be incorporating these today. This was from a project I did in my daughter's room. Now, if I can get my hands on more of these mini pumpkins, I definitely want to do this project on the mantle above the fireplace. Our second project here we will be creating cloches. I have these two glass items that I believe housed maybe candles um, or you know maybe flowers but I'm assuming candles you know maybe sitting in those metal um, you know contraptions pedestals or hanging um, baskets of some sort but we are going to use these for cloches today. I have these plates that I have accumulated over the years. I, I pick up random plates and I like this one because it has the fall colors. And I like this one because it also has the fall colors. Even though it has a winter scene in the center, that doesn't matter because we will be covering it up with our display. We have our knobs. Again, I've acquired these over the years. I save whatever I can and use them for projects like these. So I think these will be a good fit for this project. Now, if you don't have the glass ones or you, you can't find them now as you're looking for them, you can certainly pick up the ones from the dollar store. Um, I have this one. You can toss or, you know, put the plastic base for another project and use a plate and spruce it up that way. All right, so we're gonna get these cleaned up and we'll get started. I want to mention the glue that I will be using today is this E6000 glue to hold the knobs on the top. You can use the hot glue gun, but for a sturdier hold, since we are using glass, I would definitely recommend this E6000 glue. So we'll finish up this project and then I will show you how we display them. So here's the server we're going to decorate. This piece was actually just given to me um, by a sweet friend of mine. Her mother was getting rid of it and all it needed was a fresh coat of paint. It was a curio and I'm using it as a server. So let's get started. We're gonna start by adding this runner. This runner I purchased from Home Goods 
probably about three years ago already. We're going to add this vase. Now, I have a glass vase inside this vase, and then I added the peat moss back in the spring for my, my spring and, and summer decoration, and it has turned it over time, which is perfect for my fall display. Now, these picks that I'm adding, 90% of these picks were purchased from Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby's selection of flowers, and when I do shop there, I'm getting the flowers on sale. So we're just going to keep adding until I get the look and the fullness that I want. And we're going to add these pumpkin picks that we just made. And I think this gives it such a great look. I'm loving this. Perfect. Oh, one fell on the floor. We'll add that. Okay, so let's move on to this little frame. This is an old frame that I had and I just print out this little picture and add it to the frame. Going to incorporate some books, some mysteries, use those fall colors. And here we're going to add a little pedestal with the cloche that I purchased at Home Goods a few years back. And here's one of those plates we're going to use. And here's a pumpkin. Now these pumpkins I purchased from the dollar store quite a few years ago. I have seen them still available over the years. I can't say though that I saw them available this year. Then we're just going to add this little ring that I made last year. We'll put that right in the center there. And I'm not going to add the glass top just yet because of the glare I'm getting. So here's the other plate that I talked about. And again, we're just going to add another dollar store pumpkin. This pumpkin was originally orange and I just put a blue, you know, brushed look over it with some gold just to, to create a different look. So we're going to add a cloche to the top of this pedestal. This cloche is obviously not one that we just created, but this is one of the two that we did. And I think this just gives it such a sweet look. A simple dollar store pumpkin. We created a cloche using a glass piece with a knob and a plate. And I think that just looks so pretty. And this is a look at the arrangement we did and I think the picks look really good. So now I added this gold frame and we'll just incorporate this into the rest of our decor. So again, another book, the autumn colors. We'll raise our other cloche up onto this book using this plate with a few more mini pumpkins that I purchased over the dollar store. 
that one was originally red and I painted it and we have just these little pumpkin pieces that you know were scraps to other projects and I will just incorporate them on the bottom of the plate and we have this little feather duster <laughs> this little feather that I purchased at Hobby Lobby and this book now this book I purchased I don't know when but I was looking on my bookshelf and I found this and thought this would be a good item to add to my, my Halloween slash fall display. Now, if you don't have a book on hand, I purchased this one at the dollar store because originally I thought this would be the one I would use. And I will use this on another project, but again, this is an option if you don't have anything on hand. But we're going to use this one today. I, I like the gold accents and I think it'll look really pretty. Um, excuse the, the ring light that you see in the glass. Um, it is a dark rainy weekend and the lighting is not, not very good. So I do apologize for that glare. So here we're just gonna, again, add our pumpkins, add our little, our little mini pumpkin scraps. And then this cloche, is done as well. Now these are a string of pearls that I have and I occasionally wear them, but for some reason I just love how I drape it over this cloche and the look that it gives. So this is what I do occasionally. Here's a thrift store frame that I, I found and this little picture is one that I just printed offline. Here's another one of those winter scene plates that I have. I have a set of four of these. So we'll use this one as the base of our cloche as well. I really had fun decorating this one. We're just gonna take some moss and we're gonna take one of these little ringlets that I had, candle ringlets. We'll put that in the center here. And I have this clock, this little locket that broke. But I just love this, this fun little piece. So we're going to place that in the center there. And then I'm just going to add some little pumpkins and little pine cones. And give it a little fun, whimsy look. There's a little close up and then we'll add our cloche, our smaller one that we made. And again, I think it turned out so sweet. So we'll breeze through how I decorated the inside of this cabinet, but again, using items that I already had on hand, creating cloches using this cake plate, dollar store items, fall picks, books using those fall colors, fabrics using the fall colors, and I just hope that you found this video inspirational in your fall decorating.
Thank you so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.